Y'all hear these boys, man, talking a bunch of nothing, man. So that lets y'all know we back, we back, baby, with another highly right, underrated right, sports podcast. Yes, sir, baby, we back, we back. We got the boy Miguel in the building. What's the word? What's the word, everybody? We back with another week of that heat. Applying pressure to these other these other podcasts. I'm watching my mouth. I'm going to watch my mouth. Applying pressure to these other podcasts. Steady putting our foot on their neck. Now we coming. Yes, yeah, sir, man. We got the boy Jay Hoes in the building. What's happening, man? Salutations. Y'all know I'm Cordell, man. They be in this thing, man. How y'all boys feel today? Feel good, bro. Feel good, man. Just thankful to be amongst, you know, it's always a treat when players meet. <laughs> hey, I yeah. remember you said that. <laughs> we was at the fight that one night outside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, what my man say? He like, man, that was some slick stuff. <laughs> 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 I don't even know who bro was. He came with somebody. I think he was one of uh, Gator homies. But yeah, yeah. no, nah, that's true. That's fact. Miguel hit us with that right before he left. But he said, yeah, man, it's always a treat when players meet, fellas, man. I'm going to get up out of here. Facts. Yeah, Facts. Man. I did know, man. Hey, but man, y'all already know, man. Another week of that heat, like Miguel said, baby, we back in this thing, man. We got we got some stuff to, to, to get off our chest this week, man. But y'all know we can't get it started without giving a shout out to our sponsor, man. What's popping popcorn, man, out in Las Vegas, man. If you don't know, I'm about to tell you. Man, if you a popcorn lover like myself, man, like the fellas, man, I'm telling you, man, hit up What's Poppin', man. You can check out the website at whatspoppin.vegas, as you can see on the screen. Do not hesitate, man. Go on the website, all sorts of flavors, all kind of bundles you can put together, man. And don't worry, if you're not in Vegas, that's cool, man. They do deliver, man. They ship everywhere throughout the U.S. Man, the price you see when you put it in your car, that's what shipping included. So the price you see, that's going to be the price you pay. So, man, take the time, man. Go check out the website. Or, hey, if you go on there or you just know what you want and you want to call the owner, you don't want to use the computer and all that, want to cut out the middle, man, call the owner herself, Jen Jen, at 331. 318-9304, 218-9304, man. Again, that's 331-218-9304. Make sure y'all take the time to go figure out what's popping, baby. What's poppin'? For sure, man. Man, y'all boys ready to get into this thing? Let's get to it. For sure. Man, look, let's 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 just get right right into it, man. Uh so man, y'all, as y'all know, we had the uh divisional round of the playoffs, you know. Um Last weekend, man, it was a, a a great weekend of football for no, me. It was no doubt. You can see the difference between the wild card round and yes, the divisional round, man. Yes, it's you a can. big difference, man. All those teams that was in there, that they belong. You know, sure. everybody who was in that divisional round, man, they belong, man. I'm gonna give you a quick recap before we dive into it, man. We had the uh, Houston Texans, man, versus the Baltimore Ravens. That first game, man, the Ravens took that one 34-10. It was still a good. It was a good game, though, man. I ain't mad at uh, Houston and them yeah. boys, man. It was just a little it's bit pressed. For sure. A little bit outmatched, but hey, they'll be back, man. They'll be back underneath us. They'll be the wild card team, and we'll win the division. That's cool. Uh, then we got the next game. We had Green Bay Packers versus the San Francisco 49ers. That game was way closer than I thought. Yeah, great game. Amazing game. Shout out Jordan Love and them boys, man. You, you shouldn't have threw it across your body at the end, but yeah. hey, man, that's like a rookie mistake. You yeah. technically kind of a rookie that's playing true. wise. Yeah. So he's about to get that bag. Uh, for sure. For sure. It. Got to know it. Uh, San Francisco took that one 24 21. And then we had on them Sunday games, man, we had man. Tampa Bay Buccaneers yeah. versus the Detroit Lions, man. Shout out to Motor City, man. Y'all was turned yeah. up. Mm-hmm. For sure. Turned up, man. Detroit took that one 31-23. Shout out Baker Mayfield, man. Gotta he going to get another credit. shot. Got to give him credit. Gotta give him yeah. credit he going to get another shot, to, man. Shout out Baker, man. He's going to get that, uh, that Daniel Jones the bag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. get that yeah. Danny Dimes package. Yeah, yeah, shout out Bay. And, and that's a that's a nice bag 40. for where you for where you came from. My guy. One thing you can't say about mm-hmm. Bake is, is he fold, bro. I ain't gonna no. lie. At all of the stuff he done been through, all the criticism, mm-hmm. he always on somebody team and he always out there trying, bro. Mm-hmm. So you gotta give the man his credit, bro, for no sure. Doubt. No doubt. Then that uh Sunday night game, man. This was this was the game I was looking forward to. I was looking forward to both games on Sunday, but I really wanted to see this one because I wanted to see Josh Allen go home, man. Chiefs versus the Bills, man. Hey. Kansas City took that twenty seven. 24. Should have been a two score game, but Miko, bum ass Hardman, fumbled that yeah. ball. At the, he always do. He fumbled twice. He always doing some weak. I don't know. I don't like him, but yeah. it is what it is, man. But look, man, what y'all boys think about that that that, that divisional round, man? How was it for y'all, man? Man, it was it was amazing, dog. It was amazing. I mean, in our predictions last week, you know, I predicted. I it was a it was a what if I pick pick the Texans, y'all all picked the Ravens, but. 
off camera, what did I tell y'all? I would love, I wouldn't mind seeing the Ra- no Ravens win. No, he I can't move. No, he didn't. You never said that. <laughs> Mike Jack, right? For sure, I did a Mike Jack move. But you know what? It was, it was definitely good. I mean, C.J. Stroud, man, an amazing rookie year. I mean, hands down, uh, offensive rookie of the year, a rookie of the year. Close. I know it was gonna be close, but I think he close. should. I think he should take it for sure. Um, L- shout out Lamar Jackson, man. You asked for that bread. And man, you have been producing ever since, man. And man, shout out to you. I really wish the best for y'all this upcoming week. You know, it's gonna definitely be a challenge with your boy Patty Mahomes. Um, De- you sound when you pick the wrong team. Detroit. <laughs> the uh, what was that? What was that game? That oh, that Green Bay Forty Nine ers. That was an amazing, amazing game. Amazing game. Like like the uh, Cordell said, and the fellas chimed on this. We didn't expect for it to be that good. No. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, Jordan Love, man, you balled out. Like Ho said, I, I expect for you to get a big bag this year, uh, this offseason. And you deserve it. And you deserve it. Um, 49ers, man, shout out to y'all. Man, y'all, Purdy, a uh, little shaky. A little shaky. Hope you bounce back. Shout out to my boy Dre Greenlaw. That's Fayetteville, Arkansas, man. If y'all don't know. You're going to find an Arkansas connection, boy. Always. You know, if you don't know, now you know. Greenlaw food, though. I ain't going to care. Greenlaw, Gr- Greenlaw is a dog. He's just a high head, and he will, th- he will give you a, a crazy penalty. You know like what I'm saying? Wrestle out there with that right. Elbow, right. Elbow brace. But he did his thing, man. He uh he got the pick to seal the game, man. Shout out, shout out to 49ers. Yeah, two of them things, didn't he? I only remember, I only remember giving that one. I only remember that one. Um, got the one to feel. That Detroit two. game was very good. Amazing. You know what I'm saying? Shout Amazing out to, game. shout out to Cordell family. I know they from Detroit. Yes, you know sir. Yes, sir. I know the whole the whole deal was turned up. Y'all had Eminem and there. Come watch the game with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Here. Yeah, y'all did y'all thing, man. Y'all steady fighting, man, and, and it ain't over, man. Y'all y'all in it. I I ain't I mm-hmm. ain't counting y'all out. I ain't no. counting y'all out. Mm-hmm. At, at, you know, a bit. Um, Secondary shaky, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and and, and Baker Mayfield, man. Uh. Like 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 the fella said, man. Hey, you are you you got a little dog in you, know. You and you deserve a bag. You deserve a bag, man. And I know uh, Boyle said that he would love to see you come back. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you run it back, man, and get you a little bigger bag than just a league vet, uh, season vet um, deal. And what was the last game? I'm kind of got my brain fried. Mm-hmm. Chiefs Bills, man. Chiefs Bills. Come on, man. And I'm I'm tired of seeing that matchup. I that's just I am too, Miguel. I'm tired of seeing it. I just I'm tired of seeing. I know people are like why 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 it's a good game. Josh, it's always gonna be tight. I, I just don't Josh, like. Josh Allen wasn't the problem this year. He don't never. I don't win know it. what's the problem. He wasn't. Bro. He I don't problem know. This year. I don't know what's so the problem. Was. He only he had like a hundred some yards. It just seems like efficient though. He did his thing. He did his thing. But they they took the L once again. Man, it's just like he can't get over that that Mahomes. Got that on his back. That's you know what I'm saying? Good. But shout out KC, man. Y'all did enough. Y'all did y'all thing, man. You know, you know, we'll speak on it later on in the show. But you know, shout out KC, uh, Kelsey and, and Mahomes, the combination. Y'all did big things. But overall, way better. Way, way, Overall's. way better than that wild, that wild card week, man. So I hope that the next week, conference finals, man, it be even better, man. We looking forward this to it. Because it's for it all, shit. Yeah. I mean, ultimately. I love what the Ravens did being shorthanded. Like, they had a lot of injuries on defense. Mark Andrews, even though he was cleared, he didn't play this week, but likely been balling. Mm-hmm. Um, Lamar Jackson, efficiency, dog. Like, the, the the Lamar Jackson we're seeing right now understands that he controls the tempo of the game. Yes, sir. And he's playing with that level of confidence where I don't, I don't got to force nothing. Mm-hmm. Cool, we got to punt the ball, my defense can, can do their thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, first half was a little, uh, it's a little tight. It was. But then, you know, Superman said, hand me my cape. I got mm-hmm. y'all. Let me go do what I got to do. So, you know, kudos to CJ Stroud, man. Amazing season. Mm-hmm. Um, I would, you know, I'm an Ohio State guy, so I would love to see him get rookie of the year. But I think Puka, the, the numbers Puka, Puka, Puka Nakua put up, it's just wild. Yeah, it's going to be, it's, it's definitely going to be tight. I love to it's see, wild. I can't wait to see who it goes And through. CJ missed a couple games. So, that's not going to help either. Um, 49ers, Green Bay. Hey, man, listen. Addition by subtraction. You know, when when you're a great offensive mind and you get rid of what it, what was a Hall of Fame quarterback, mm-hmm. people doubt you. But now you can actually call your plays instead of having to placate to his ego. Mm-hmm. And Jordan loved the show. He started off a little shaky. You know what I'm saying? We got a bunch of homies that's, that's Green Bay fans, and they was 
first three weeks, they was ready to get rid of Jordan. For sure, Lewis. give him the boot. You know what I'm saying? They were going to burn his house down. Now they got jerseys. Hey, now listen. Bad coming. <laughs> bad day. Bad day coming. Hey, man, hey, listen. When Aaron Jones is healthy, he is a problem. Yeah. He's a problem. And them receivers in Green Bay, all on rookie deals, it's going to get crazy up there. Yeah, it is. Um, 49ers, listen. The weather was horrible. Green Bay, although their defense been shaky, they they did what they supposed to do. put the pressure on Purdy to beat you. Mm-hmm. When Debo went down, I knew it was going to be a tighter game because now you don't have that other person to to, to stretch the field vertically and horizontally. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see if he's healthy because that's going to create a great matchup because you know him and Gardner Johnson been yapping oh my at each other since I they played each that. other early in the season. You know the ski mask situation. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. Shout out to Lions, man. Shout out to Dan Campbell. I'm not gonna lie. When when I first saw his introductory um interview and and press conference, I just did not believe him. Mm-hmm. I, it was like watching like a cartoon character. But <laughs> Dan still like he can play. He do still look like he play. <laughs> I mean, you seen on hard knocks, he knocked out them forty up downs for sure. But I mean, at the end of the day, it don't matter what it looked like as long as you produce. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And the Lions are producing. That secondary scares me. Mm-hmm. But they produce it, and they can find a way to win. That's their weak link. You know what I'm saying? And ultimately, if Jared Goff keep playing as efficient as he's playing, they'll be in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But he can't have an old school Jared Goff day. Because it's not no weekend. guarantee, fellas, with no. the Niners, dog. No. This ain't no guarantee. Uh, it's going to be some crazy I don't matchups. I think man. nobody think it's a guarantee. Yeah. I, I, think, I think most people got the, the Lions losing. The, we're going to talk about that. No, no. I think, yeah, I think, no, I think most people do. I'm with you. The Lions, so you get, yeah, they're saying that the 49ers are going to, that's what oh, I'm you're saying. saying. It's, it's not a no guarantee, guarantee it's not that the 49ers are going to win. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on um, that. Chiefs Bills, it's simple, bro. Like, <laughs> when you've been there, just put me in the playoffs. They've won Super Bowl, so just get me in the playoffs. It's like the same song, different. Day. Just get me in the playoffs. I'm just tired it. of seeing it. Let them get a new yeah, matchup. Yeah, I'm, I'm sick of that too, bro. I'm, I'm really sick. I'm usually sick of the... The divisional rounds, other AFC, or at least one of them games. I don't want. I don't want to see no more Bengals. Uh, Bengals Chiefs. Right. And I don't want to see no more Bengals Bills. Man, let's yeah, get them Jets too many in there. Other let's Jets. get them Duval Jags in there. Let's get. Yeah. Let's get right, man. Tell let's, Travis, let's get, let's get tell right. Tell get his shit together. T. Law got to definitely get his shit together. He's gonna definitely you know turn what? up this year. This the year. This the year to go with him though, because he about to turn. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come down, man. We gonna talk T. T. Law, man. We gonna come. <laughs> I'm gonna have a one on one. You been calling me? I ain't been talking. <laughs> I ain't been answering. I ain't been hitting you back. He's a little upset. With I'm you. a little upset, <laughs> but it's good, bro. I'm gonna fly down there. I'm gonna come chill with you for about a week. We gonna get right, bro. We gonna talk. We're going to get right, bro. We're going to work on a little, you know, do a little meditate. We're going to get right, man. But, hey, all in all, I'm going to be real. This weekend, I was impressed, man. I was highly impressed with with every team, even even the Bills. Like, I mean, I don't really – I'm not going to lie. I play with the Bills on Madden sometimes when I'm playing against people. So, I don't hate the Bills. I don't hate Josh Allen. I just don't think they're as good as people try to make them seem. Uh, This whole Super Bowl window and all of that, I'm going to be honest. Like I said before, I don't think it was ever open. I don't think that they're good enough to go to a Super Bowl or win a Super Bowl. I don't think they're good enough, right? Uh, no knock to Josh Allen because one thing I can say about him is he plays hard out every time. He be out there trying. Like, he's trying. Uh, but, you know, for that game, I just felt like I'm going to go with the experience. I'm going to go with the better talent. I'm going to go with the better coaches. And that's, in my opinion, as far as, like, offensive man. They got some good ass coaches in, in Buffalo, but I'm a rap. I'm a rap with Andy Reid on this because he's been here. For sure. He know how to win in the in these. He know how to win these games. So I wasn't really too. Uh, I wasn't too surprised. Like I said, that sh- it should have been a two score game if Miko Hartman wouldn't have fumbled that ball out of the end zone. They would have gave that ball to my boy Audemar Pacheck. Man, he would have went in that thing and scored it for sure. Uh, he had a he had a hell of a game, man. Y'all better watch out for that boy, man. man Pacheco different. Pacheco, bro. he a different breed, different. man. And if people really want to start talking, I know we talk shit about Rutgers when it comes to college football. They keep some running they, backs, they though. They keep some running backs, though. They keep some running, some tough Gus running backs, Edwards, too. Uh, some tough Rutgers. running backs. Pacheco, Rutgers. Mm-hmm. One of the rookie receivers in Green Bay. Play running back at Rutgers. Well, you not, know, let's not you, forget about Ray Rice. Ray Rice, back in the day, old school, Rucker. Well, you know, my boy that got the Syracuse job was the number one recruiter mm-hmm. in the nation. You know what I'm saying? He left Rutgers to go to Georgia, but then he mm-hmm. got the Syracuse job. But that's what his 
that uh what's that mid mid that's east what is east that east coast east coast he got that east that east coast region that he had that yeah. locked down because he's that's, from new jersey yeah they got some boys yeah there, he man. had some dogs yeah man so then um the game that most impressed me i'm gonna be real was the 49ers game man. 49ers packers mm-hmm. shout out green bay man them boys are forced to be reckoned with Scary. i ain't gonna lie man jordan love i didn't know i like i said last week i thought that Jordan Love was gonna come in. He wasn't gonna play well. I'm thinking they probably 500 team, if maybe 500. No, sir. I will say this, man. Moving forward, depending on who goes to quarterback in Minnesota, that division gonna get tough, bro. It's mm-hmm. gonna be tough now because we we see the Packers and the Packers defense legit. I like their defense. I like uh, Rashad Gary. I've I been like the I've been like a lot of those guys over there, man. Um, they look up and down. Who Gary? No, just just oh. defense. They, yeah, they no, I, I like they pass rush over there, man. I like Gary, I like Gary a lot. Okay. I liked him in Michigan. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, man. So uh, yeah, no, nah, that that was a good game, man. They showed up, and then for for a while, it looked like they were gonna win. You feel yeah, me? It yeah, looked like yeah, they nah, was gonna sure. take that. Mm-hmm. Savage don't drop that six, that pick six. Man, you feel oh, me? It, it's over. Yeah. Drop that pick six yeah, early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Yeah. So uh, yeah, no, nah, that was a good game. Purdy was Purdy. He's he was the Purdy who I expect him to be. Uh, I'm gonna be real. I don't think that, I don't think that Purdy's terrible. I think that he know he's exactly who he who he knows he is. Like he's a serviceable guy. He's still young though, and, too. Right. So he's young. a serviceable guy. I don't. I think that people put too much expectation on him because of the season that he had yep. and because of the way things went and because of the offense he plays in with mm-hmm. those pieces, bro. But one thing you gotta know is. When Debo ain't in that lineup, you get yeah. to see the real party. That's, it gets it's a scary. Tough it, it was the same way with all the rest of them quarterbacks too. Yep. You take take Debo yep. out them lineups, bro. They, it's it's different. Debo is the glue to that team, the bro. The only thing that you get more, I feel like, I feel like Purdy takes more risk. Right. Facts. Like, I go, give him that. Garoppolo I give him the that. ball. Facts. But but I respect the fact that Purdy takes risk because ultimately yep. that's what got them where they at now. Yep. They're yep. being more efficient, scoring more points because yep. they didn't score a lot of points. Uh, depending on who they play with Garoppolo. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But Purdy, when he clicking and, you know, the stars and the moons aligned, the weather's not bad, mm-hmm. Debo in the lineup, they it's, might it's double up. 40 on your head easy. Yeah. But we, ain't, we ain't gonna say act like we was blind neither. The second half, we seen what Kyle Shanahan switched up, though. He went more, he went back to that bell cow. He went more to you, Christian. You, you, you got to. You, you got right. to. Once you start incorporating oh. that more, that run in there, and then you start hitting with a little passes here and there, man, it was over with. And if you peep, you seen McCaffrey out wide a little bit more playing the Debo role. Because mm-hmm. now ultimately- Well, we had to switch. We had to do same. something. We had to change up. If we're going to be honest. They, they, they're almost identical from an athleticism standpoint. Who? Uh, Debo and Oh, yeah. I yeah, yeah sure. I Debo that. just, I feel like he, he just built different though. Yeah, he definitely Like is. Debo is, is a big motherfucking receiver. No, for they sure. They say he be walking around at 220. For sure. And let's not forget, when they went on that slide, Debo didn't play none of them games. No. no. They had None. different. They had different team Trent, without Trent him, bro. Missed a bunch of games. Trent yeah. and, D, and they, Debo. They, they weren't healthy. Yeah, man. But uh, the game I saved for last, man. I saved this game for last, man, because it was one of the uh, most exciting games for me, man. It's uh, this Baltimore game, man. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. I'm excited to see Lamar Jackson go to the bowl, man. Yeah. I need him to go out here. Well, they come KC coming to him. Mm-hmm. I need Baltimore to come out for the culture. Though. For the culture, I need him to get to the bowl, man. Mm-hmm. I need it. So, man, I was. But all in all, it, obviously they started a little slow. That's how I be with that first yeah. round bye. You know, mm-hmm. coming off a of bye, they started a little slow, just like San Francisco started a little slow. But then they picked it up, start doing their thing, start balling, man. So mm-hmm. that was a great performance, man. But but shout out to Houston too, man. Houston, that's a, they all mm-hmm. tough team, bro. Even though we division rivals, I ain't no hater. Y'all, 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 that's a tough team. That's, that's a up. tough team, man. So all in all, it was a, it was a good division around. I feel like everybody who was there deserved to be there, man. So you, looking forward to these conference championships. And you know Houston, you know these, you know they're gonna start. That's gonna start looking more attractive with some of these big name free agents oh, on, sure. you know, especially some out. receivers for sure. And, and some Nico, people, and Nico, some Nico, Nico need a little help. Nico need a little help well, over if there. Tank don't get hurt. Tank don't get hurt, but you still you know need. I mean, is Tank a number two or is he a slot? I think it depends on what formation. You get you a solid number two, put Tank in the in the, in the slot. You in uh, the game. I'll be real with you. I don't think Tank a slot because I don't think he's gonna do the dirty work that a slot receiver does. No. 
uh, you know. You know what I'm saying? It's, I don't think going to do the dirty work. That's neither here nor there, but you know, it's definitely going to be an attractive destination. Hey, and no, and there's no sure. state tax. Yeah. For sure, for sure. But man, moving on, man, moving on, man. want to throw a quick look ESPN type fact out there on y'all, man, just cause, <laughs> just to show y'all how uh, how, how versatile we are on this, on this thing, man. Yo, if y'all didn't know, Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes have now passed y'all go Tom Brady and Gronk in touchdown passes in the playoffs, That's man. That's big, the Number bro. 16, man. That's big. Now, you know, if you watch football, then you know mm-hmm. Brady, Brady and, and Gronk. Grady. Legend. Grady. <laughs> Grady. Mm-hmm. They done hooked up a lot of times in that end zone in the playoffs, no man. Doubt. So that that's a that's a huge accomplishment in my in my book, man. For real, still, I shout out to them. Still boys. many years to come. Tight end, well, um, I, Kelsey I, getting the love though. Tight end is quarterback best friend, man. When you got a good tight end, make your life. If you really think about it, and I just now everybody that's left in the playoffs got a tight end. Yeah, yeah. everybody left got them one. Yeah, if not two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most teams Baltimore got two because Mark Andrews come back this week. You sleep on most like teams it. got two. Yeah. Yeah. When you got two, it's ugly. Did you Did you see Detroit picked up Zach Ertz? I seen that. Oh my! God. I don't know what that's going. It may May it may not. You know, so way Arizona cut him. He been cut. I ain't know that. Yeah. yeah, I remember he broke his arm and then he was back. No, he was in Philly, right? He was back in Philly. No, no, you talking about they Goddard. Talking about I'm talking about Goddard. Dallas Goddard. Goddard. Okay, Ertz did. He went to Arizona, right? Mm-hmm. And he they, been that last two years. Oh, I didn't know that. Cut. I didn't yeah. even know that. That's crazy. They hey, Ertz, I really Ertz, be I like salty Ertz. when when vets be doing that though. Oh, waiting to to, to ring because Cook did that. Like, Not Cook. Cook did that. Mm, yeah, man. I don't, Let me see who what. Yeah. Oh, okay. You gonna go to the second round? But I, I'm but going I respect, with y'all. We get that's a ring over there. But do that ring even count? Because I don't me, like if, it. If it was me, if I've been there, from, hate, if I've been count. there from the hate, from all season work at OTAs, hate, and you coming in three weeks out, hate, and you get dog. that, I don't think that. I, I like if I'm fact. on the team, I'm with it because. Let's get the firepower. You know what I'm saying? I like the fact that the Jets was willing to cut him at the end of the season and let him go. Figure Which that, that was honorable. That was honorable. They could have just and if on. you notice the game, he only played five plays. Three out of five plays, he was productive. He did his thing. Oh. So you please believe this next week, he didn't got a little bit more comfortable. Another another week under the playbook. I think, I think if the game plan predicts, yeah, will, I think it's too late I mean, in the season to be trying to just get that nigga rep. Because when it's all said and done, Gus gonna carry the load. Well, Gus then you got Hill. Nice Hill like that yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? He the mismatch nightmare on that yeah. third down. Yeah. You know I'm, I'm gonna be real. If if but for me personally, if I join a team that's already on the run at the end of the season, that ring wouldn't even feel like a real ring to me if I got it, bro. It wouldn't, bro. We gonna take that especially. Ring. <laughs> Especially no, if you no. ain't putting in no work, you we gonna the, take that ring, bro. No, I'm gonna take the ring, but I'm saying like you ain't really earning. You yeah, wasn't. No, you I get wasn't, it. You I get it. Never, I definitely get what you're saying. Wasn't there? So, so I'm gonna ask this. I and, ain't giving it back. And I got a feeling this is what's gonna happen for Dalvin Cook. I got a feeling. All right, cool. You get a couple carries this week. You get a couple couple more carries this week coming up. When they make it to the Super Bowl, because I'm speaking this shit into existence. When they make it to the Super Bowl, guarantee you score a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Yeah, but so what? Again, I'm telling you, dog, that shit gonna mean something. It's not. It don't mean, mean nothing, bro. You it did. You something. did not. You was with a whole nother team for the whole season. Not my fault. You came here at the playoff it it, for the play. It ain't. I ain't blaming them. I'm just saying, as far as from a standpoint of helping a team get a ring, like getting us there and winning it. Man, I wouldn't feel like I would. I would still want to do it. I'm like, I bet. Can y'all resign me so we can try and run it back? I would For appreciate sure. no, the no, no, entire no. grind. They, did. they picked him up with the intentions of resigning. That's what I'm saying. I don't saying. know about like, that. Uh, I don't know about that. Who? I ain't, I ain't trying Mitchell to jump Cole. on no bandwagon and, and just get nice, the ring. That's, that's, that's ACL. That's, that's going to take a while. Well, no, they hit the ACLs in eight, six, six yeah. to eight don't months forget now. J.K. Cut J.K. Dobbins. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you know what? You're right. This is for I didn't forget, right now. But you know, Dobbins be staying so hurt. It's kind. Of, it's he easy was to cooking about before him, he got bro. hurt too. But he this is the thing. Even if Dobbins he cooks every year, even if my boy, hurt, don't, forbid, if he get hurt again, going up. you still got Keaton Mitchell, who probably be ready, probably mid season fully mm-hmm, for sure. Gus ain't going nowhere. How the hell we get back on the Ravens that we were just talking about? Can we talk about the big dog? No. Hey, I'm sorry about that track. We definitely got sidetracked, boy. Hey, look, no, man, for sure. But no, we kind of hit on this a little bit last week. Uh, Just want to give the fellas a little chance to speak on it because they made it official, man. That boy AP, man, Pierce, man, Antonio Pierce, man. He got that head coaching job out there in uh, Vegas, man. man. They went on ahead. He was the interim coach uh, with five and four. 
three and one in conference mm-hmm. with his little stint after they got rid of Ho's favorite coach out there. <laughs> uh yeah, man. And well, then the, man. the players, he he won the locker room over, man, and the players wanted him and they went on here and gave that black man that job, man. So shout out to him, man. Let the fellas get a little bit of that on that. No, that's dope. For sure. That's dope. Being from Compton. You know what I'm saying? Growing California. Growing up a Raider kid. fan. Growing up a Raider wow. fan. You know what I'm saying? He never had a chance to play as a Raider in his professional career as far as, you know, playing wise. But man, being a coach, and then getting the interim, and then doing a five and four record, three and one in conference. I mean, dude, y'all, y'all only a couple players away. You know what I'm saying? Y'all still need a little help. Hopefully they can keep Max Crosby. His name is all around the trading block. Oh. You know what I'm saying? This offseason. But Man, shout out to you though, AP. Man, you deserve it, dog. You deserve. It. We need to see more black coaches mm-hmm. in the NFL, man. And you, and they say my boy pulls up in the six six four, in parlor with switches to the game. Like he he just a he's a play. I mean, how can you not love to play for somebody like that? And we talking about somebody who was a hell of a player. Oh no, I liked him for sure. I definitely was, liked him with the Giants for sure. Super Bowl champ. Mm-hmm. Um, then then earned his stripes in this cur- this No, no doubt. Went back to Cal Poly. Yeah, revamped high the high school sure program. Did. Went to the college level at Arizona State. They mm-hmm. climbed back up. It didn't get no handouts. Nah, from a coaching perspective, we ain't gonna get them anyway, though. Depending on who you are, if you're a company man, mm. AP not a company man though. Nah, for sure. So I love the fact that he he started from the grassroots and worked his way back up. And honestly, let's be real, the Raiders learned from their mistake. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Last year when they had the interim coach, mm. carried them to the. Did they make a playoffs? I think they did. They make a playoffs last year. No. Or oh, they got close. They got close. They got to the last week and could have made the playoffs. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The interim coach carried enough. You you don't get him the job. You can't do this two times in a row. No, nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So I like it, man. I love it. I love AP. I love it too. And it and it just makes sense because it fits the Raiders persona. Mm-hmm. No doubt. And I also think that that would, like like Miguel hit on it with the Texans earlier, I think that would draw some bigger names over sure. there too, especially a quarterback, especially if they see they see how he won over the locker room. So, man, shout out AP, man. I'm looking forward to that, man. We we going to bust y'all ass in Vegas this year, and I'm probably going to be there. But, man, I'm going to – I'm hey, my boy T-Law probably get me on the sideline, so I'll probably come say what's up <laughs> to you, bro. Uh, then we had uh, another coaching move, man, Brian Callahan, man. He took that uh, – he an OC. He was the Raiders OC, right? Or the Bengals. No, Bengals the my fault. The Bengals, Bengals OC. The Bengals he OC. took that head coaching job in Tennessee, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. He took that head coaching job at OC, man. I mean, head coaching job in Tennessee mm-hmm. with the Titans. Oh, uh, man, he led, you know what I mean? He had, he got some accolades, man. I'm going to let Miguel read the accolades off for of y'all because this is his man's. He loved this pickup. I don't really care for it. <laughs> I don't love I don't, it. Like, I, don't I don't really rock with the Titans. I don't love it, and I I mean, it doesn't make sense to me as well. I Honestly, if I was to pick, I would have won Aaron Glenn to get that spot, Detroit, uh, D.C. That's what I would have liked. But, I mean, Brian Callahan, I can't hate on you, man. Hey, you didn't. You didn't move your way up the ladder, man. You're doing your thing. Uh, like I said, uh, like Cordell said, he has good accolades. I mean, was with Cincinnati for five years as the offensive coordinator. He led them to uh, the AFC North championship game twice and then one Super Bowl appearance. So, I mean, they say your boy Joey B loved him. So, I mean, yeah. you know, hey, the Titans, they need some help over there. They got some quarterback controversy over there. I mean – Seems like an offensive-minded coach, obviously, but, you know what I'm saying, it seems like he can get in that locker room, get in these quarterbacks' head, and hopefully, man, change the program around, man. We ain't seen, you know, my uh, I, I like Verbal. You know what I'm saying? Vabel, whatever you say his name. <laughs> Vabel. That boy is Vabel. Like Verbal. You know what I'm saying? I like them. You know what I'm saying? I know you was more of a defensive-minded coach, and it just didn't work out for you. I mean, I hate that. I know you're going to probably get a D.C. job here shortly, but – you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Brian Callahan, man. We got to get credit where credit do, man. You done moved your way up the ranks. Man, good luck this season. For sure. I mean, I'm, it's not that I don't like it because of Callahan. I don't like it because you get rid of a proven commodity for the unknown. Who, Vrabel? Yeah, Vrabel done been coach of the year. Then made it to the play. Then beat teams that he wasn't supposed to beat. Yeah, the, the number playoffs. one red zone defense. That's what I'm saying. Knocked us to, out the playoffs. They was banged up this year. Rookie quarterback. All those things. Like, the offense ain't never get right, though. I mean, you go from vet you just had quarterback. Derek Henry, that's it. That's what it's going to be until you get a quarterback. That's exactly what it's going to be. Bill Levis ain't it either, man. I'm he sorry. has some flashes. When are we going to get the sorry. quarterback? Yeah. I mean, I mean, they drafted him, you know what I'm saying, second round. What y'all going to do this, with Malik? This is what I think Malik? it is. 
Malik out. They when they drafted the, when they drafted the Levis, Malik was out. This is my issue though. I'm, it's very clear that Vrabel didn't have a lot of cachet when it came to moves because yeah. they traded AJ Brown and he didn't want AJ yeah. Brown to be traded. So there goes strike one. New ownership. Strike two. Strike three is everybody's moving towards the offensive direction. Mm-hmm. So that's ultimately why you know what I'm saying he got canned because even when they asked the owner like why she fired Vrabel. She didn't have, like, a valid reason. She just said, well, we just needed a change of scenery. Mm-hmm. And ultimately, I think it just comes down to the fact they're building a new billion-dollar stadium. They just want a new face to the franchise. But that week, team, that's you know crazy. The stadium look crazy, though. Bro, they say Nashville be crazy. on nah, the other it, note. It, it, it do. It be busting. <laughs> I went to a Jags game in Nashville. They say Nashville be nah, lit Nah, it's, it's lit, for show. sure. It's yeah, overly man. lit, for sure. Yeah, so sometimes, for sure. sometimes some of this shit is just business, dog. Business as usual. It just is what it is. He'll land on his feet, though. 1,000%. He'll be back. I wish we would have scooped him up. You also got to remember. That's our D.C. I mean, it ain't. Y'all didn't. Y'all nah, didn't we, we already did. We got the Falcons over D.C. I don't know why. Oh, my goodness. Y'all went that way? I don't know why, but it is what it is. We still got a lot of head coaches. Then they're trying to sell us on them, too. They're trying to sell us on them. Don't sell me on him, bro. I'm straight. Right. right. Just show me, fam. That's a that's a, that's a that's a segment for another day. Just show me, fam. <laughs> just show me, fam. Right. That's right. all I'm gonna say. Just show me, fam. Right. But man, uh, all right, Miguel. Let's get to it. That 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 biggest coaching move for my boy, mm-hmm. my boy. No, nah, I'm gonna really... I'm gonna let Miguel. I'm gonna let him have this one since this is squad. I'm gonna let him do his thing. Go ahead, my boy. For all you Chicago fans, man, you know we signed that we found we finally found after like seven to eight interviews over the last two or three weeks, we finally found our offensive coordinator, Shane Waldron. Eb. You said what? Uh, nothing. I know you want an EB. Same Shane Waldron. You know what I'm saying? He's did the last three seasons he's been offensive coordinator for the Seattle Seahawks. He has 10 years of coaching experience, and then he has multiple years in the college in the collegiate level as well. But uh he's under the Sean McVay tree. And if y'all don't know, you know what I'm saying, that Shanahan, Sean McVay tree, that holds the weight, you know, especially in the interview, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see that on your resume, it kind of give you a couple, you know, preference points, you know what I'm saying? But I, uh, as of now, you know what I'm saying, the season's not fully over with yet. He is listed as one of the top, you know, candidates out there, you know what I'm saying, for offensive, offensive coordinator is still, you know, in the league. I mean, that's as of now, obviously. We still got Ben Johnson with Detroit still in the game, you know what I'm saying? But – you know, we we actually took a chance. We actually went out there. We interviewed people. We and, I, and shout out Bears, man. Y'all took. Y'all did not rush it. Y'all didn't interview nobody. And then next day, I see them getting a job. Y'all actually took the opportunity to interview everybody that was out there. I mean, we interviewed at Cliff Kingsbury. You know what I'm saying? We interviewed. Uh, oh man, I forgot the brother name. Thomas from uh, Carolina. He's a up and coming offense coordinator, black guy. Uh, we, I ain't interviewing we, nobody from Carolina. Yeah, I was just saying, I don't know why they he did didn't, that. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't have a chance. He didn't have a chance to hell anyway. You know what I'm saying? But it's just the fact that we took the chance on doing it. You know, previously, you know what I'm saying? We would have just interviewed somebody the next day. You know, they're getting hired. It was like, damn, did we even? Did we try to interview somebody else? But they actually did. They went through two, three weeks of hosting interviews, and we got our guy. You know what I'm saying? I mean. Like I said, he did three seasons with Seattle. A lot of people like, well, man, three seasons play calling. Woo, woo, woo. I mean, you know, a lot of people are hopeful that he can change Justin Fields' career like he did Geno. Last season, Geno's. Back player of the year. You know what I'm saying? And Geno, from what I read, you know, in these articles, that he has a lot of respect for him. He hates to see him gone. You know what I'm saying? So, Hey, we took a chance. We got the top, one of the top candidates out there, man. I'm happy for it, man. Taking a chance. So that that's that's really what I was gonna ask next. Mm-hmm. Do y'all think that he can change? He can help Justin Fields how he helped Geno Smith. I mean, you could because I mean, I'm gonna so. be real, y'all. Y'all see what happened, but obviously that probably had a little bit of Pete, little bit of Pete Carroll in it too. Yeah, you know, it's but it's always a couple people. He called in the plays the though. He called in the plays. Yeah, so call what, y'all, do y'all think that he could he can work some of that and magic on him? Gene. From what I from what I read, obviously I don't know none of these people personally. From what I read, Gino loves this guy. Gino was he Gino like is 
basically saying like this dude is damn near responsible. Well, he resurrected for, him. Yeah, for bringing me for bringing me back. His play mm-hmm. call, his schemes. I mean, obviously, you know what I'm saying. I just said that he's under the Sean McVay. Sean McVay, Mike Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan. They, this system man is like they hold this whole weight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we can only hope. I mean, we gotta. My thing is this: it's a win for us because. We got somebody. We took our time with interviewing, but we also got one of the top candidates out there for the offense coordinators in the NFL. So it's like, let's see where it goes. This shit like Rubik's Cube for a Bears fan. <laughs> this shit, y'all be stressed. You didn't answer y'all the question. Y'all be stressed when y'all answer these motherfuckers. Because I don't. Because that's a that's a that's a question, though, Cordell, that I cannot answer for you At right the now. End of the no, day. it's about what you think. I pray. I, really, can't I, I, I hope. I hope. I can only hope. I can't. But, but I mean, what, how yeah. can I know that? At the end of the day, nobody asked you to know it. We asked, did you think? <laughs> yes, I do think. think. Actually, I do think. If it's the, a yes or no answer, I do think that he can do. At the end of the day, move. if you can change Gino, at the point where he was at when you got a hold of him, fair. you damn sure can change Justin, who has what is it four years of experience? He on his fifth year. The problem is that mm-hmm. we going into the fifth year. It's going to be his fourth OC. It's, That's where the problem lies. It is continuity is continuity it consistent. Is. It's tough. It's tough. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do. I'm 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 in agreement with you. I think depending on the rest of the moves they make this offseason, mm-hmm. you know, as far as with the draft things of that nature, because you know, still the wild wild west. We it don't is. know what they're gonna do. Mm-hmm. You know, the minute they start talking about this Cliff Kingsbury bullshit, I was like, listen, y'all don't want to win, and that's the thing. Y'all I, don't want to, win. and that's the thing. Hold hold where you at, because I don't mean to cut you off. That's the thing, Cordell. You really can't answer because we really don't know where we're gonna go yet. We don't know if he's I mean, gonna be if he's gonna resurrect JF one or if he's gonna be Caleb Williams. I, I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> we don't know. You know that, what I'm saying? That you the writing's on the wall. But then again, it's the NFL. You just never know. Yeah. Um and I that's the thing though. Does Justin Fields need to be resurrected, or does somebody need to learn how to handle him with care and put him in position to let him thrive? You're right. See, I think for the previous four years, the last two seasons for sure, half of that season has been square peg round hole. Mm -hmm. Trying to make him fit into your system instead of building a system to let him thrive. Well, resurrect, resurrect, I take that back because you're absolutely right. Resurrected means that he had took a downfall. He has did nothing but been productive each year. It's just sad that he's going on his, what, fourth offensive coordinator. So, I mean, it's not resurrect. It's like yeah. can help. I just think you know what I'm saying. Ultimately, Enhance, quarterbacks you know I mean? with that skill set are just d- judged differently. Like think about it. As great and as efficient as Lamar played last weekend, there's people who say he didn't play the greatest. There's they, people literally saying he did not play the greatest. Yeah, they blind. It does not matter how back. you win this. It's just different, dog. Like mm-hmm. I know tradition is a beautiful thing, no, but sure. that's cool when when tradition is rooted in something. Productive and positive, and that can withstand the test of time. Mm-hmm. We in a whole new era. Get it how you live. So if that means you got to rush for 100 yards, then rush for your 100 yards. No, It just that. is what it is. Just don't turn the ball over. Let, hopefully you got a creditable enough defense that can help you out in certain situations, but win the damn game. No, no doubt. And I think people need to understand that. So hopefully he put, you know what I'm saying, JF1 in that situation. No, for sure. You know I'm saying? Otherwise, you know, just trade my boy to Atlanta so I can go to Atlanta once a month. <laughs> I hate to see it, but it might happen. You know what I'm saying? Trade my boy to Atlanta, go draft Caleb Williams, and see where that gets you. <laughs> I think that. Uh, I think that. I think you. I think it's a. It's a plus. Yeah. Just, just moving. Just being hopeful. Uh, I think it's a good move. Just seeing what he, what he did, what he was a part of with Gino. So I mean, I feel like you can't go wrong. I feel like if you took the time to really vet. Him and make sure he was the right fit for the job, and then with his past experience, hey, why, why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? He got experience with mobile court, somewhat mobile quarterback, black quarterback, quarterbacks being rejuvenated and all of that. Hey, man, with 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 uh, you know, kind of the same set. I mean, you don't have a DK, but you got a number one. Hopefully, you get you a number two. I mean, they put some pieces together over the last couple of couple of years in Seattle. But man, I ain't mad at it. Okay. I ain't mad at it. And I also feel like if you kind of run a system like they ran offensively in Seattle, I feel like Justin Fields would thrive in something like that. Yeah. So I think uh, I think that that's uh, I think that that's dope. You know what no, I mean? No I doubt. think that that's dope for real, for real. I really do. So 
Man, it's lit, man. It's lit for sure, man. I, I, my hat goes off to y'all, Miguel, man, and I hope it, I hope it work out for y'all for real. I really do. Gross. Thoughts and prayers. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> hey, man, let's move on to this, uh, to this NBA though, man. To this NBA for y'all who don't know anybody who didn't watch last night, man. I was watching that joint. It was an early game, you know, them East Coast games, man. Yeah. They started like 6 o'clock. For sure. But, man, my boy Joel B went nuts Crazy. last night Bananas. versus the Spurs, man. They tried to throw Wimby on them. That didn't do nothing. Enough. My boy has 70 points. 40 at half. Yeah. 40 at half. Okay. 70 points. I was at work watching that. We just had a basketball game last night. I was watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 70 points, man. 70, 18, and 5, bro, versus the Spurs, man. That was crazy, bro. That was crazy, man. What y'all boys think about that? What y'all got to add to Joel and B seventy? I think, I think that we, I don't think we seen, we ain't seen no big man like him no, no, ever. No, no, not and since we've been watching in our generation, bro. Joel and he a different breed. He era. can do everything yeah. offensively, bro. Yeah. Everything it ain't nothing he can't do offensively, For bro. Sure. He can take, he can, he can, he can hit you with the midi. He can hit you. He can pull up from three. Mm -hmm. He can get you down in that post and do whatever he want to do to you. He can do it all. He can dribble. He can handle the rock. All of that, man. What y'all boys got to add to that, man? Just straight dog, bro. He's straight dog. I mean, he's just proving it. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Oh man, I think it's only a handful of games that he has went under thirty. Yeah. I mean, he's just a he's just a beast. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, shout out to them. They still young, man. The the, the Sixers are so young. You know, shout out Tyrese Maxey. He got a nice counterpart. I still think they need a number, another one. You know what I'm saying to get over that hump, but they number three in the West, in the East. So it's like, like what else said, what big man is doing it? I mean, I know we like to say Joker and stuff like that, but Joker not get down there like that, man. Joker still. Don't do my boy. Bro. No, I like Don't Joker, do my boy, bro. but it's he Joker. Ain't doing Joker that. not doing what Embiid doing. Though, but I agree. He, he not doing what Embiid doing. We can bang you in the post. We can do the mid range, or we can do the perimeter on the three. For sure. So it's like, you know what I'm saying. I hate this. I just be like hating seeing the, the nigga always hit the ground. Now, what, now what <laughs> we talk, but what we talk about the win? A win is a win. A win is a win. Right, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But you know, this is this is to pick him up, man, and uplift him, man, because sure. he's doing his thing. And I ain't got nothing bad to say about you, young man. Man, keep it up, man. You younger definitely man. the best. You, the, I mean, man. younger than me. You definitely <laughs> the best big man younger in the man. league as of right now. And keep it up, man. I mean, like I say, hey, six of front office. Give my man a get him a little bit more help, though. Y'all at that three, I don't think y'all ready for the Bucks or the six uh the Celtics just yes and just yet in seven. You know what I'm saying? But y'all doing y'all way that man. Shout out to B, man. You did your thing and you was efficient. 24 for 41 in 38 mm -hmm. minutes. Come on, bro. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And 18 yeah. boards. 18, 18 boards, boards yeah. bro. Come you know on. Yeah. And you found the you found to get five dimes off. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, so it's like, sure. man, hey, hey. Gratitude, young man, man. Do your thing, man. And we broom for you here, highly underrated for sure. For sure, my boy. That was definitely crazy, man. Hoes, what you what you take from that? What's your take on that? I mean, we, we've always talked about it though. He's a dog, bro. Yeah. Like as far as from skill set wise, this is the new era of basketball. The universal player. You have to be able to do everything. You know what I'm saying? What they call in baseball, you a five two player. You, you got to be there in the NBA now. You can't just take up space. Yeah. Because now we playing five on four. Five on three if you a D and three guy. Like, nah, man, you got to be able to stretch the floor, do your thing. His biggest thing is always staying healthy and producing throughout the playoffs. Yeah. That's the key. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So if he can, hopefully this this game right here springs board him throughout all-star break and through the end of the season, mm -hmm. through the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, he's uberly talented. For sure. Like, I know they was arguing uh, last week, I think uh, a couple podcasts, is like, is he this era's Shaq? Is he more dominant than Shaq? Like, that was a lot of people's argument. I mean, he yeah. averaged 36 points, so sure. I yeah. mean, hey, did Shaq ever average 36? I'm not sure. I think Shaq. I'm not sure. I, I, I can't say numbers. yes. I, I can't say no. A, I'm not sure. It was sure. a couple seasons that he probably averaged 36. He got 30, close. About 32, thing, something like that. Uh, and, and Joel and B won that. If we, I know Shaq did, but he won a he won scoring. Didn't he win a scoring title? Uh, the year he sure didn't win the MVP that. or something like that. I know that. he won an MVP. I know he's top three for sure. And, and it's it a hit on that. I mean, you see, we asking you ask the general question: Is he more dynamic? Would say more dynamic than Shaq? Well, we know he more dynamic. For I sure. mean, yeah, because he could do yeah. way more. Yeah. Shaq ain't damn sure ain't hooting. <laughs> he I, can't even hit a free throw. I think it was just he, it's you a, know what I'm saying. It's an error. And, yeah. And bigger than that, what we call it, evolution. Mm -hmm. It's the evolution. Evolution of, of a big man for sure. 
You know what I'm saying? Hey. I'm watching the basketball. Mm-hmm. Two time scoring champion in my there you back. Go. Talk heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Talk yeah. heavy. We discredited you. Yeah, Sorry about that. Because one of them was with hard on the team. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. You know what I'm saying? But nah, for me, it's just I need to see them playoffs. No, that's it. I need to see them playoffs. Right. That's it. I think uh I think Joel and B goes so hard. Well, at least in these last couple. The last I, last year not, but the years be- the years before that, my boy always got hurt in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man, I think that's probably because he how much pork he putting in during the season. They not they not the same caliber team. They not a, as much of a threat if he ain't doing that. Oh, you feel me? So man, that that is true, man. If he can keep that up all the way through the offs, it's lit. Nobody mm-hmm. has somebody who can match up with him. Mm-mm. Yeah, no, nah, it's over with. Because even when you think, okay, well. Well, if it's the Bucks, we'll put Giannis on. Well, that seems like foul trouble. It is. So it, if you look at a statistic show, Giannis yeah. he gets in foul trouble. Nobody, when he plays. <laughs> nobody has a matchup. It's hard, and they, and they don't you even. And they don't, when they play, they don't even put him on. They let yeah, Brooks because uh, he'll be, foul him a couple times yeah, and yeah. put Brooks on. It's put not Brooks working. on him, yeah. right? Yeah. So nobody has a matchup for him. He's a mismatch nightmare. Push off. You know what I'm saying? But he just got to carry this. You know what I'm saying? Carry this amount of wall to the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Be Gucci. They yeah, still man. Won away, though. My still boy averaging thirty six points, crazy eleven and a half rebounds. <laughs> he doing his thing, bro. What is he doing on assists? Because he got he gets dimes too. Uh, what he average on assists? Let me see. Probably around that five, six, yeah. five point nine. Yeah. So six as a assists. big man, yeah, he we we discredited that. That's really the biggest number. Man, he, really my boy is shooting fifty four percent from the field, man. Fifty four percent from yeah. the field. That's, that's nutty, crazy. bro. Right. That's Especially nice. seeing that he is like a mid range and back type of guy. He's not for really sure. a post up guy sure. like that. Yeah, that's crazy. And yeah, he'll get busy with you in that post. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> he'll do you wrong, man. Shout out Joel and B, yeah, man. I love out. seeing it. I love you putting on for the big dogs, man. Shout out. Uh, let's shout out another big man, man. Carl Anthony Towns. I mean, he had 62 last night as well. 62, 8. 62 and 8. You feel me? He was uh, 10 for 15 from the three. Uh, I like Carl Anthony Towns, man. He he decent. He decent. He decent. Mm-hmm. He ain't it. Like he ain't no MB. Like I don't think he's no dominant force. I think he play a little soft at times and he cry too much. But uh, for the most part, bro, straight man. I, I wish he put together more performances like this. Granted, he did score most of them points in the first half. He ain't really do too much in the second half. For sure. But hey, sixty two is still sixty two. Still a sixty two. Feel me? Piece. What y'all boys think? Uh, cat cat. He nice. I would like to see him a little bit more post play, but I guess that's his thing, you know, perimeter. You know, obviously he went ten for fifteen. Obviously we see where he chucking from. He gonna he gonna find a three point line for sure. Man. Um, you know, it's kinda hard. Eight rebounds is pretty good when you got a monster down there with Gobert who's probably damn near averaging fifteen to twenty you up. Never call him a monster. He on the boards. On oh, the boards. Okay, on the, on the boards. Right. So uh, yeah, take that back. If y'all was thinking anything otherwise. But I mean we know that he's the number two on the team. We know who the number one is. You know what I'm saying? And then they just gave him the, the reins this year to go off. And he's, that boy nuts, though. You know what I'm saying? Anthony Edwards. Yeah. For y'all who don't know. I mean, Anthony but. I like that. Right. But, you know, as far as Kyle Anthony, man, I mean, he doing what I, what I expect him to do. I mean, he's doing his thing. He's a perimeter. He's a perimeter big man. He's that new age big man that yeah. Holes was hitting on. That's a fact. He's not putting his back against the back. The back, the back he's, not, he's not doing that. Um, he's more perimeter and he's efficient with it. I mean, ten for fifteen. Hey, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna give it to you all day too. I'm gonna tell you to shoot as well. Yeah. I mean, 60, ten threes is crazy. Ten threes for is sure. crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know, ten for fifteen. I think he played look 30, 36, 37 points. Yeah. You know, I mean, they took the L, so it really doesn't count like Embiid. I mean, when you get to seventy and the the win, it counts a little bit more. But sixty two is still sixty two in the NBA, man. He playing amongst the best. So you know, shout out to you. But you know, Minnesota. Number one in the West. A lot of people ain't talking about that neither. That's true. Number one in the West. They hooping. That's true. They Number hooping one in the West. Sure. I think they 30 and 11, if I'm not mistaken. They doing their thing. So, ain't oh, OKC like right behind? No, OKC right behind them. You know what I'm saying? OKC so, got some shit over there, boy. Yeah. I mean, be real, though. I don't think neither one of them teams built like that to, to do this like – like yeah, y'all they might like, do that. In the, no, no, no. I'm saying season. even this season. like y'all, They might climb the Reds to get to the playoffs and get buzzed by like an eighth seed or something, bro. I mean, especially if they that, young. especially if that AC, right. especially if that AC like Golden State healthy. Yeah. 
That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I could definitely yeah, Oklahoma State for yeah, sure. Yeah, Golden right. State healthy, AFC. Yeah, but they not to ugly. take nothing away from them boys because nah, they, nah, they can't, definitely ball. And, and before Hoes go, just want to give y'all a little bit of his stat line, man. Carl Anthony Towns, he averaging 22 and a half, 8.8 .8 rebounds. So he averaging like 22 and, and 9. Mm -hmm. That's decent. For sure. I got it's real decent. Start for you too. Go ahead and get on his ass. Saw, I know you about to. Saw it last night. I'm, I'm going to get on his ass next. But did y'all know? Last night was the same same date. Kobe scored eighty one. The fuck out of that word. I ain't, I ain't, Damn, I ain't no, everybody was day. clowning last night. Same that's day. what's up. Yeah. Same day Kobe scored eighty one. That's that's yeah. what's up yeah. in yeah. Toronto. Saw right? that on ESPN. Shout out to y'all. Right. Yeah. No, they gonna keep a stat. Oh, you know that boy. This is the first day. Right. Right. Snap two facts. Me and right. played baseball. <laughs> it be the weird. It be the they weirdest. They should play football. Yeah. Right. right. Man, if you don't go somewhere. But that is dope, though, man. R. I. P. For yeah, sure, yeah. man. I mean, ultimately, I, it's the same shit I'm going to say about Embiid. I think, can Carl Anthony say, is this going to springboard him forward? You you arguably are playing with what should be the next face of the league. Mm -hmm. Like Ant-Man is, Ant-Man crazy, bro. Whatever they saying. Like, he's he like nutty, that. bro. He like that, for sure. He's like, cold. he really be out there on some bully ball shit, and I like that. Yeah, he cold. You know what I'm saying? So, do your part. Mm. And he ain't got to score 60. We ain't actually to be a 60 ball walking mm -hmm. 60. 25? You know what I'm saying? Shit, 20. <laughs> but he scored 60 on the night that the end man wasn't really efficient. He had yeah. Nine yeah, he points. Only, yeah, he was you like 3, 4, 11. So That's he, what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I think they lost by two. So, I mean, yeah. obviously, he did enough for both of them. So, yeah, I mean. for sure. But I think, can this springboard him moving forward? Because ultimately, like we just said, Depending on the right seed, who who falls where in the West? Because we know the West comes down literally to yeah, the last week. The West, the West is wicked. It comes down to the last week For sure. every year. So if the wrong person slide down right. to eight, it it might be curtain close on you. Right. You know what I'm saying? One seed or not, it might be curtain close on you. So you know he got to come to play. No, nah, that's facts. I agree. I agree. I agree, man. So hey, step it up, baby. Step it up, man. But look. For those who don't know, I'm sure if you watch ball, if you watch basketball, you know this, man. The boy Terry Rozier, man, he got traded. Scary. That was from, crazy. Yeah, the, I didn't see that coming. Yeah. I didn't see that move. What but, a great hey, pickup. It's a huge bro. move. Yeah. He got traded from the Hornets to the Miami Heat for Kyle Lowry in a pick, in a 2027 pick. Um, dope for Miami, for sure. No doubt. Kyle Lowry going into that young locker room, I don't know how that's going to be, but – Hey, that's dope for Miami, man. Miami giving Jimmy Buckets some more help, man, some more buckets because they gave away a lot in the offseason. Mm -hmm. You put another bucket getter in that lineup with him, man, that's going to be crazy. But I, my, my, my take on it, it's crazy if Rozier stays consistent. Because bro will come out one night, give you 30, and the next night had like 10 points, bro. Like he, he will do that, bro. He last night. He kind of inconsistent, but – Man, hey, with the the potential of that lineup is ridiculous, sure. and I'm pretty sure with him knowing he's playing on the playoff team, a, a championship caliber team, playing with Jimmy Buckets, you could get to. They went from the play in tournament to the to the championship to the finals. So I'm pretty sure knowing that you playing on that type of roster, man, that's gonna turn you up. So, man, that's a, I think that's a dope pickup, man. What y'all boys think? I mean, anybody right now? Let's let's not. I mean, Miami is definitely on a. They definitely not. I don't want to say they're on a downhill slope, but their team is not as good as they used to be. You know what I'm saying? But they still the number six seed in the East. Well, they don't they don't have them pieces that was the intent. They don't. Last year. And, they I think, and I think and I think and I think your boy uh uh Butler been kind of hurt. You know what I'm saying? I know yeah, when I do the fan like he, he, he ain't always on the list for me to pick. You know what I'm saying? For me to get my money on. But no, nah, you I mean numbers. I think they hold a record of uh 24 and 19. They're the number six seed in the East. I mean, you add a you add a combo guard. I mean, he can play a little point. I think he's mainly a, a two guard. You know, what I mean, he's averaging damn near twenty four points a game. It's twenty three point yeah. two. Damn near four re, uh, four rebounds a game. He's at three point nine, and then he's at damn near seven assist point uh, seven assists a game with six point six. I mean, coming into the All Star break, you get somebody of this caliber, you can only hope that they help you. And he's right. still young. He's twenty nine. I like Rozier when he was with Boston. When he was yeah. with Boston. Yeah, I did. Too. And he was a dog coming off the yeah. bench. You know what I'm saying? Behind Isaiah Thomas. You know what I'm saying? It was just he was just he was he's he's like that. 
you know, he's always been a locker room guy from what I read. You know what I'm saying? They said in Charlotte that he was, you know what I'm saying, definitely a seasoned vet helping them young boys out. LaMelo, you know what I'm saying? You got uh, Washington, Bridges over there. They always spoke highly of him. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully he can come in and, you know, he's playing on a Hall of Fame coach. You know, Eric Spolster. Hell yeah. He only going to make you better. Hell yeah. Yeah. He only going to make you, you better. You can't never count the heat out. No, no matter what. And like, they always be count one of the out. scariest scenes once they reach that playoffs. Yeah, I don't bro. give a damn what nobody say. Well, yeah. the, the heat are post All-Star game team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. And um, it's going to be it's going to get wicked. It's going to get real wicked. It's going to get real interesting. It's going to get scary? Yeah. And I think that's going that that'll help with the durability of Jimmy Buckets oh, putting a, putting yeah, another sure. bucket get another pass yeah. around. I think they rely like a little too heavy on him. Yeah, you know I think saying? that's yeah. going to help, bro. Sure. I, I I like that move. I'm Especially like, for Larry. Like that wouldn't that Larry wasn't doing shit. I I actually mm-hmm. think this might be a good thing for Larry. He might be what they need a little a little Veteran focus for where for Minnesota. No, that, that, no, no, no. You talking about Charlotte? They, Charlotte. they already said they gonna go oh, ahead. They, 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 they said they already said him. they waving him. I'm they gonna let him sign. They gonna let him do his yeah, thing. I'm they, tweaking. They not trying to keep him because his I'm, contract too heavy. I'm tweaking because Charlotte and, and Minnesota played yeah. together last night. I'm sorry, but um, I like it. I like it for the Heat. This is a nice consolation for the you know Dame Dillard uh, sweepstakes. You know what I'm saying? Nice mid season pickup. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like you get the great. No, no offense. Great value version of Dame Lillard. Right. You know what I'm saying? No offense. No offense at all. You know what I'm saying? But he can put the ball in the hole. No, Pause. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 really what it comes down to. And at the end of the day, Jimmy Butler always needs a little help. Mm-hmm. You 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 lose those pieces, those role guys who play exceptionally well for you down the stretch last no year. Doubt. So now you got to pick up a bigger name. And hopefully the role players you have now – Step into them role player role from last year, mm-hmm. and now you can go on that run like we talked about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because ultimately, that's just how Miami's built. Role players really do carry them for sure, and then the superstars take them over the top in the moments. Facts. Nah, that's a fact. Shit. It's gonna be big. I'm excited to see it, man. I'm, I'm 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 not so excited because my boy is over there, but hey, man, it is what it is. <laughs> business is business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, man. For sure. Big news though broke out, man. Coaching, big coaching, big coaching change, man. Big yeah. coaching change out of Milwaukee, man. Right up the road, man. Adrian Griffin out as the Bucks head coach, man. With a record of thirty and thirteen, he got canned mm. today. But right out, Timberland boo. By the night, grand opening, he got grand canned on on Tuesday morning. He got he got fired. Nike by ACG two, boo. Uh-uh. By Tuesday <laughs> night. Doc Rivers was already the head coach. Doc Rivers had already they had already offered Doc Rivers the job, man. He was already a consultant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I feel like they knew smell that was premeditated. That was premeditated, so man. Smell fishy. Thirty and thirteen record. Hey, they got him up out of there, man. I want what I want to ask y'all. I know everybody probably got their own take on if they feel like. Obviously, we think it was fishy. It was already you know premeditated. But what I want to ask y'all boys is, do y'all think the Greek freak, Antetokounmpo? Giannis had something to do with this coaching change, the way it happened and everything like that. Y'all think he had something to do with it? Any influence? I kick it off, man. I think anything that come through that organization, especially them being a small market organization, even though they dominant, Milwaukee is only this big. It ain't. It ain't. Sure. A, it's not a big market. You know that they got a superstar like Giannis. Everything is going through Giannis. Everything. Candidate head coach and candidate. So you think he wanted him out? Giannis probably put that bug in the air. Hey, dog. My man's ain't got this locker room no more. We, we, the confidence is gone, dog. Who, who y'all got? So now my boy Jay Holes just hit me with the, you know they hired him as a consultant prior to hiring him as a head coach. Doc, come on, man. This is premeditated. It's premeditated, dog. I mean, and you think that when you say, all right, Giannis, you know, this, you know we're we, we going we gonna to evaluate it. We're going to evaluate it. Giannis probably was like, all right, man, I'm just letting y'all know. I ain't happy. The team ain't happy. We need somebody in here. 30 and 13. Who ain't? When you hear Doc, Doc named whole weight. Doc named whole weight in this league as a player and as a coach. So Giannis probably felt, seemed like that that name was a little bit more appealing to Adrian Griffin. You know what I'm saying? I hate that for him, man. 30 and 13. You was one of the top assistant coaches. Second best record in the NBA. Second in the East, man. The second Second best in in the the NBA record. I'm almost for sure. I haven't looked this stat up, but I'm almost for sure that he had the best record as a coach that got fired midseason in all time. I'm almost for sure. I'm almost for sure. I don't know that. I would have to look that up. I don't know that. Don't quote me on that. But 30 and 13, you hold the number two spot in the East. 
and you get the boot, Timberland boot, ACG boot. I mean, mm-hmm. damn, whatever boot you want to say, he got it. You, you know win saying? and get fired. You win and you get you fired. Win and I get hate fired. that for you. I hate that for you. I hate that for you. But you know what? Hoes just said the business is business, man. Business is business, dog. Doc name hold a little bit more weight than yours, dog. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So I hate it for you, man. Hopefully you land. I know you probably get your assistant coach job somewhere. You might get it lucked up and get a head coaching job, but I don't know if it's gonna be this year. But the question was, did Giannis have anything to do with it? You damn straight he did. Yeah, damn straight he did. He had he and he jumped the chain of command. He went over the head coach. I went, hey, I need a meeting with Well I need um, a meeting with such and such. I'm the face of the team. I don't think I think I am the chain of command. So I don't think I jumped the chain of command. I think I think you guys listen to my command. I think that's how that might go. Uh right. in Milwaukee, you know what I'm saying? Right. I mean ultimately when it's all said and done, listen, man. Big name teams, especially if you think about historically in the NBA, mm-hmm. big name teams usually have a big name coach, mm-hmm. or at least somebody who is either um, big name because of their past and their resume, or big name because they hot. Ultimately, and that's the only reason Milwaukee is a, considered a big name is because they hot because of Giannis. Well, I'm, I'm talking Milwaukee. about coach now. Oh, okay, Adrian okay. Griffin is like we know who he was from his years with the Bulls and a couple other like being a role player in the NBA and things of that nature, yeah. but. Like you said, Doc name that, that it just hold ways. It just hold weight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. It carries weight in the coaching coaching world now. So, listen. and he has experience playing a uh, coaching amongst superstars. One thousand percent. You can't I'm name saying. a team that he's coached that doesn't have multiple superstars. Now, um, we're, I'm not going to sit up and act like the Bucks getting their ass whooped by the Cavaliers last week. That probably was those the straw that broke the camel's back. Probably was the straw that broke the camel's back. Well, I read and I read. Articles that said that they, you know, some people say he lost the locker room. Some people say it was the defensive presence. I mean, you never know. You just never know. Ultimately, I think it has something to do with them. Be honest, be honest, ain't all just ain't it. It's it's literally his team. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it. I it think that it. I feel like uh, at least some of the games that I watched, I know watching them play the Bulls and just watching them. You know, they maybe a small market team, but they play some marquee games on like TV, right? Because they got some big names over mm-hmm. there. And some of the games I watched, I watched them get smoked a few yep. times, bro. And it just was looked like they just was flat, like they bro. weren't motivated. Smoke with the starters. No, no yeah, offense. With the starters, it just looked like they wasn't motivated. They struggled mm-hmm. against the Pistons a few times, bro. A few of these games down the stretch, to, like the last 10, 15 games, they struggled with the Pistons. Mm-hmm. And we know what the Pistons are doing right now. Yes. Yeah, it just comes a point where, and it don't, and I, I'll say this. Is it good to look, have to look over your shoulder? Hell no. I think that was really bogus. <laughs> is, is it good? Yeah. No, but that's the nature of the beast when you when you at that yeah. level. Like when they hire him as a consultant. Come on now. I'm not gonna lie yeah. to you. I don't. He probably at low key age girl probably already knew what was up when they did that. He probably like man. I've like, never, I have never seen in my years of actually watching sports, actually knowing what's going on. I don't think I've ever seen a head coach get fired with a record like that. No, nah, you've seen it before. I, I won't but say. I, if I do, I don't remember. I, I have to look it up. I won't say you have. 30 and 13? You haven't yeah. seen anybody with a record like that, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it to football. Wade Phillips had the Cowboys rolling at one point. Jason Garrett was the OC. Who became the head coach after Wade Phillips? Was that midseason? I, I mean, midseason, that's subjective. But midseason, at the end of the day, that, that means something. Sometimes. Though. This is before the All Star break. This ain't even midseason. They only ain't even, they ain't even halfway in the, the season. The NBA operates totally different than the NFL. I'm just using this as an example that. Sometimes the fox can be in your hen house. Sometimes your replacement is like that's so right there dirty. Looking dog. at you, my boy Doc yeah. in there like man. Uh, okay, y'all, I do this little. He didn't even make it halfway. Right, he didn't even make it to the halfway. And how many the weeks was break. he a consultant? A week? I don't know. It don't matter. It ain't been long. They knew what it was. My man's ain't even make it to the All Star break though, man. That's that, that's messed up. I think that's they got rid of their own coach. That's messed up. That's crazy, that's bro. Up. Who flip? Who? Oh, uh, Bud, what's, what's his name? Bud, I, uh, shit, that long last name was long as hell. Yeah, I can't Budden say Buttonhauser or something, yeah. but I don't know what the fuck, Budweiser? <laughs> <laughs> shit. But yeah, they got rid of his ass quick, too. No, he been there for a couple years, and he yeah, made he a couple playoff uh, appearances. But they, they letting you know that they want to win now. Yeah. They want to win now. Why they got dang? Because, I mean, I feel yeah. like at the end of the day, Giannis already told y'all. 
If you're, he already make it, man, he already made it. If y'all don't get nobody else, I'm gone. So he probably told them, like, look, if y'all don't get Buddy out of here, I'm gonna request a trade. <laughs> then you know they probably well, they gonna try to keep Dame. So mm-hmm. hey, I, hey, it is what it is, man. It's fucked up. I mean, it's messed up, bro. I mean, it's, it's unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. I think that's bogus that they cooked them like that. But yeah, sure. I am interested to see um, what type of impact Doc has on that on that organization, man, on the team, man. I'm, I'm interested to see if he can take them back to the finals. So that'll be dope because we all know Doc in the playoffs, his his teams don't really do well. Mm-hmm. They don't get a – he ain't got over that hump in a minute. Right. You feel me? In the recent years, since, 08, boy. since Boston, in the recent years, <laughs> since he, done, he done had pieces. Like you said, he done had multiple superstars on his team. Every team. So, hey, let's see. That's that's the reason why he got cooked from his last job. You feel me? But it is what it is. We gonna see what we gonna see what's up because I know if he got that, if he struggle again, Griffin gonna be in the background tweeting and all kind of from a ghost Told account you. all kind of yeah, bro. <laughs> he gonna be turned. <laughs> But, man, hey, look, 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 let's talk about y'all boy, man. We kind of touched on him a little bit earlier, man, Anthony Edwards. Now, it's crazy because uh, one of the homies had brought this up. Uh, then Miguel brought it up again, so we put we threw it on the show, man. Uh, Stephen A. Smith compared Anthony Edwards to MJ and Kobe, man, Michael Jordan and Kobe, man. Is that accurate? I'm going to kick it off. I'm going to start off. I'm going to say, nah, I'm going to say he fouled for that. I'm going to say this, too. People got to stop doing that, bro. You got now. Don't get I me wrong. I knew you was gonna do that. I like. I, I love Anthony Edwards. He's a hooper. He a baller, man. But Anthony Edwards is Anthony Edwards. I get it. It's just a comparison and all that. But man, stop doing that. That that kid. He young, man. It's, he's he got a long way to go. He got a long way to go, man. Don't start putting that on him, man. Don't start doing all that, man. Let that man write his own story and let him do his own thing because he's not a Kobe and he's not an MJ. Yeah. That team just now getting good for real. Yeah. They was in the playing tournament last year, wasn't they? Did they even make it in or did they get in? No, they no, got in. No, Minnesota been in the last two years. They got in, but then the, the year before that, that's when Pat Beverly had uh got yeah. him up out of there or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, man. So man, let man, let let, let let him be him, man. Let him hoop, man. That's a that's a crazy comparison to me, man, in my opinion. I don't feel like that's fair to Anthony Edwards, bro. I second you on that. I second you on that. I know a lot of people be like, what? You know, that's the younger generation talking. But us who actually was able to see Mike, obviously Kobe is definitely our era, hands down. Uh, It's a little too early for that. 1,000%. It's a little too early for that. He definitely averaging 25 points, five rebounds, five assists. He doing his thing. This is his first year with his coach actually giving him that number one slot. Because, you know what I mean? At first it was, is this cat team? This Ant Man team, but I think now we solidify what it is. It's, it's, it's Ant Man team. Cat falls second, you know what I'm saying, and whatever may the chips may fall. But don't we got to stop with that? I'm with Cordell. We got to stop with all that. When you comparing them to the like them are goats, bro. Them are goats. Mike Kobe. My man ain't even. My man ain't even made. My man ain't even got a scoring title yet. My man ain't even made. No MVP. My man ain't got no league MVP yet. My man ain't even got the. He ain't even got a championship yet. You know what I'm saying? We're struggling his personal life, but I'm gonna leave that like we gotta, we gotta, we gotta stop with that. My man's is doing his thing, for sure. And let's just keep it as that. I think when we start putting a little bit more flame on it, we got to stop, bro. We overcooking them grits a little bit. And I feel like Stephen A. Overcooking Nate, them grits. Stephen A. You know what I'm saying? He, I feel like he should know better than that. Yeah, but he overhyped shit anyway. I yeah. mean, that's a – you know how we will get on Stephen My boy trying to get his bag. I, and I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this bad. real quick before hoes get, get it buzzing. I say that because you got to think, bro. Names Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, those yeah. names will live on forever. Ever. It like, don't matter ever. what generation of athlete, kid, fan, you gonna That's know who Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant is. It's still to be determined if Anthony Edwards will fit into that category, into that box, because it's some it was some dogs back in them old eras that this gener- we don't even know. It was some players that was cold, super cold, and probably was killing, but we don't know them. We don't know nothing about them. But you're gonna see, you're gonna see footage of Jordan. You're going to see footage of Kobe and LeBron for the rest, rest of history yeah. of man. I can guarantee you as that. As long as basketball exists. Those I would three. say Stephen A. knows better, but I would not. That would be giving him too much credit. He don't know. 
Sometimes he just over talk. He just over. You know what I'm saying? I think he do the shit for views sometimes. Of course. This shit just crazy. Like, come on, man. My man's my shit. I don't even know if they want to play off a round with him as on a as a player yet. You let alone getting the damn. You giving them credentials with the with the goals? Come on, man. No, no, no. Yeah, that's no, that's, no, that's no. not fair to him, man. It ain't. It ain't, and this and this is not a segment of us bashing Ant Man. Nah, because he because I think all he three of us know that the, know that he cold. For sure. He like that. He, you know what I'm saying? But that ain't, a little that time. ain't Give right. Give him a little bro. time. Give him a little time. Give him a little time, bro. I mean, like you said, this is just uh, clickbait material. Yeah, for sure. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, listen, we all got a job to do. You know what I'm saying? Stephen A trying to get that 20 Trying to get that podcast up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying saying? to get 20 yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? At ESPN. So I ain't mad at him. We know what uh, it is. Like We trying a, to get that here. This is way. We trying to quit our job. This is way too early <laughs> to be talking about. Yeah, that was wicked. Hey, Michael Jordan, Kobe, Anthony Edwards. Right. Like, nah, this was way too early to be talking about that. Yeah. And man, LeBron James still playing. Still getting buckets. So, no, nah, it ain't nothing to you talk about. You ain't even say him in the mix. Yeah, no. Nah, I mean, That's kind of bogus, too. We know what it is. It's just clickbait material. It's funny, though. It's yeah. funny shit. You know yeah. It's a light conversation piece, I guess. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> nah, I mean, that's facts. You know what I'm but, right. you know what I'm saying? No, sh- hey, no shade to you. Hey, man, keep doing your thing, For man. Sure. You holding that young squad down. For Stop sure. Stop sending text messages like that, bro. <laughs> we got next, man. Nah, that's real, bro. We ain't going to do it like man, that now. Let's, you, let's, you need hoes, some guidance. Holes ready to take it there. Man, guidance. let's get into this uh, this AFC, uh, NFC Conference Championship For sure. weekend, man. If y'all know. It's going down this weekend, man. Winner takes all, man. man. Winner goes. Winner goes to the show. All the marbles is on the table on this the table, weekend, dog. baby. It's going down. You, you, man. I'm telling you, I'm excited. I'm gonna put this on the floor now. If the Lions win, see my people last year they came to the house for the Super Bowl, right? No, nah, you gotta go to the D for that though. If the Lions win and they, because they said they was gonna make it an annual thing where we watch the Super Bowl at my house. But if they not on that, I'm going out there. I'm going to the D. If the Lions go to the bowl, I'm going out there for the Super Bowl. I mean, I gotta, you I gotta mark miss, my I, word. I gotta miss your sister sliders then, bro. Hey man, you we gonna have, for that. have to get them another day, bro. I'm, I'm gonna have to take there. the road trip. Huh? I'm off Might that weekend. Well. Come on. Hey, but look, man, that first game, man, Sunday. Both games will be Sunday this week. Both yeah, games Sunday, no Saturday game. This week, first game. We got the AFC Championship. We got the Kansas City Chiefs taking their talents on the road to Baltimore, man, against the Baltimore Ravens. That come on at 2 p.m. Uh, then we got the San Francisco 49ers. We got the Detroit Lions taking their talents out there to San Francisco. That's the night game, the 530 game, man. So we're going to kick it off with this Chief, Chiefs Ravens, man. We're going we gonna to give a little insight on what we think. And then I want y'all to give it a little insight and then give y'all a pick, man. Because I know y'all want to talk about them a little bit, yeah, a little sure. preview of the game. So go ahead and do that and then give y'all a pick. I'm going to let Hoes kick it off. Um, I mean, I think ultimately it's going to come down to, one, efficiency for Lamar Jackson. No doubt. Two, will they be fully healthy? Will Marlon Humphrey play this, this week? Because last week without Humphrey, you can see, like, the confusion in the mm-hmm. secondary that first half. Mm-hmm. Because ultimately, it just changes so much from a coverage standpoint for them. You know, it moves pieces out of the wrong way, and I think they need Humphrey so that they can match up well with everybody. Because mm-hmm. when Humphrey's in the lineup, you figure they only got one one decent receiver in KC, and that's Rice. Mm-hmm. Humphrey takes Rice. Hamilton takes Kelsey. Mm-hmm. Everybody else, we playing in Hadley. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got two all-pro inside linebackers for Pacheco. So at that point now, and they got the best pass rush in the league. So everybody has to come to play. So I, I don't, I don't see Humphrey missing this game nah, at all. It's too you big, know what I'm saying? Too big, too much on the line. And then you flip it on the offensive side. If Mark Andrews is back, it's Liddy. If he's back with likely the mismatch nightmares, it's gonna be crazy. Now KC defense been like that. You know what nah, I'm saying? they have. It's it's been more defensive yeah, than offensive. That, and it's crazy to think like. Ain't that, it's, been the, weird. it's been the reverse. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy to think. But I do feel like, man, it's a lot of lot of moving pieces that you got to work with. Mm. Casey secondary, not the best. But I think everybody plays well within the system together. So it's going to be interesting, man. Like, I, I, I really hope Baltimore is fully healthy. They got to come to the bank 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, this going to be, what, Patrick Mahomes' second road game mm-hmm. in his playoff career. That's wild. Mm-hmm. This is only his second road game. It's because they've been dominant, that's, that's crazy, that's what bro. dominant do. Crazy, man. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm rolling. You know what I'm saying? I'm rolling. Jackson, I trust. Right. You know what I'm saying? And Jackson, I'm, I trust, dog. I'm with you. I'm a second that. But you, you know what I'm what I'm not going to discredit uh, what needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I mean, obviously, Humphrey, I it, it's no question. I mean, I don't I don't know. The, what is his injury? Do we know? Uh, it might be an ankle. I'm not sure. I didn't, ankle? You know. Tape that motherfucker up. We out there. For sure. We, we, getting, <laughs> we, getting, the, we getting the all unit pros. I know they got some high-powered shots they can give you. Boy, that motherfucker ankle be numb for three days. But, you know what I'm saying, it's get out there. If Humphrey's out there, like you hinted on, you got two all-pro middle, uh, two all pro linebackers. That's That handles Pacheco. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know, we got Kelsey to worry about. Kelsey, he's definitely – he he is thing. But I don't think – I think once you take him out the game, next up is Rice. You take him out the game. I mean, it's over with. Pacheco, we're going to stop the run. Lamar, this is, your, this is your time to shine, bro. You know what I'm saying? You have stepped up thus far. Don't get – Tight ass on me, man. In this in this game, I need you to step it up. I need you to be the 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 best Lamar ever. You know what I'm saying? And I think you will. I think you know. I think you know the magnitude of what this game hold. What, what this game holds. And I think that you have lived up to it all regular season, and you will do it in this game. But you know what I'm saying? You definitely got a team. You got a defense to worry about. Sneed just let his first offensive touchdown all uh, mm-hmm. all season last week. Mm-hmm. You know, you got McDuffie killing. I love McDuffie. You know what I'm saying? McDuffie, dog. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we ain't gonna discredit they team, they defense. You definitely get, but I think that I think we got enough. I think Lamar got enough to be able to roll on to the Super Bowl, man. So I'm hoping for you. I'm praying for you, man. And it's just it's on y'all. Y'all got to prepare. Even if you know Mark Andrews, even if he's not a dominant, I think you can use him as a decoy and kill with dominant. likely. You know what I'm saying? Have to lean on him. That's the good thing about it. For sure. I mean, cause your second, your second, it can start on anybody's team right now. Likely it's cold, so it's like you know what I'm saying. Just go out there and do your thing, man. Play with confidence, control it. You got the stadium under you, in your favor. You know what I'm saying, which is rare, cause I'd have been. I don't know how I would have felt about it if this motherfucker was going to KC. I'm not gonna be honest with you, but it's going to Baltimore, and y'all got them fans. They rowdy. That defense, man, my boy, uh, what's my boy, the linebacker, man, we had him for the Bears. I'm, Roquan. I'm, yeah, Roquan, I got a brain, I had a brain fart right there. But, it, you know, Roquan, man, my boy Roquan was, hey, he, hey, he was a little, he was hyped up, man, before that last game, you know what I'm saying? So, you know the energy going to be elevated, you know, from that. So, we we, we we a step away. So, I think the linebackers know what's, what's ahead. I think them – you know, you got the interior line. You got them, them edges. You got Clowney showing out. He clowning right yeah, now. Yeah, I know he's not. Good. He is. He got ten sacks. I can't say he ain't clowning. He gonna no, want he, 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 he did, and he got that money, and he about to get another check. So I can't say he ain't. He's clowning. not doing. He's not on nothing, bro. Nah, I can't he's say that. Crumb, I can't say bro. that. He ain't the best defensive lineman. He not, but he's gonna. He earned himself another For year, sure. another contract, and he got that got that bonus. Well, Clowney's a mercenary, and I ain't mad at him. He's a mercenary. I'm not mad at him. But they got the three tech. They got nothing. the three technique. That's a Pro Bowl. What's his name? Nothing. The African guy. Yeah. And I Mike mean, Boy, I yeah. And, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, nah, he a dog. So I mean, Clowney ain't did job. nothing in the offs, bro. We got to You know what I'm saying? They only had one game in the offs, bro. How you gonna say that? That just wouldn't count. Okay. It just fair. You know, I mean, it is fair. fair. I mean, fair. but just I feel like if Lamar Jackson plays Lamar Jackson type ball. Controls that offense, man, and does what he needs to do. Hey, we'll see the Ravens in the Super Bowl, man. See Kodak Black. All right, coach. That boy gave a coach speech. Yeah. yeah. That boy trying to hype people up in there. And then Clowney didn't have 10 sacks, but it is what but it he is. he have nine and a half? Yes. Nine? It's not 10. Uh, yeah, boy. Those, is, oh, those, is mid, those, <laughs> those are mid Josh Allen numbers. Everybody know if you know me, you know I'm not high on Clowney. No, I feel like he's Clowney, a bust. I mean, he's a bust, but I mean, he got his check. He got yeah, enough to get the advance. I ain't hate on him for getting this check. But, uh, man, as far as this, man, I, I'm going to be real. I think that this game is going to be wild, bro, because what you got to know is Mahomes and them boys not finna lay down. No, sir. No. 
No Lamar bad. Jackson, them go. They, they, the Ravens got to earn this one because these boys know how they've been here before. That'd be the thing. They've been about here. The Chiefs is scary with the Chiefs. They, dog. They've been here before. Every every year for the last four five years, we done seen it. They've been here. They know how. They used to this. You feel me? They they come in your house and take. Take what's yours. They'll do it. They walk in your trap and take over your trap. Yeah, I was going to say, what the young boys say. They'll walk in your trap and take over your trap. Come on, man. They'll they'll do it. So I think that I think this game is going to be crazy. I think it's going to be action packed. I think it's going to be intense. Um, I think that it's going to come down to that Ravens defense. They've been balling all year. It's 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 a tricky defense, man. They put a lot of they they do a lot of of uh of of disguising, bro. They bring a lot of people up to the line of scrimmage. You don't know who coming. You don't know how many they sending. I like it, and they all can drop back and steal cover, and uh, it's going to be lit. And like he said, I think it's going to come down Marlon Humphrey. If Humphreys is in that lineup, it's going to be it's going to be real good. And we know KC kind of got issues with catching, although they did do well last week. Last week was one of the best offensive performances we've seen from them all season. You won't see Valdez can't really catch that many passes. Come on, man. Did you – that one pass he caught over the defender head, I'm like, whoa. And we discredited somebody. We didn't We didn't discredit it. We left him out. Kyle Hamilson, Pro Bowl. I see that. Oh, did you? I'm sorry if I missed that. So, yeah, but no, man, I think that – I think it's going to come down – I think it's going to come down to the – I think it's going to be a great game. But I'm pulling for Lamar, man. I'm going for them Ravens, man. I'm going to go for them Ravens because I want to see it. Uh, another playoff game, another AFC, AFC playoff game with two black quarterbacks going at it, man. So, man, that's that's exciting in itself for me. So, man, I think that one's going to be a good one, man. But I'm trying did. to see Kodak Black the Super Bowl. Yeah, that, that's going to be lit, man. <laughs> I, I want to the see. I'm, 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 I'm not tired of seeing the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, yes, but I want to see somebody yes, new. Now, because I, I rock with Mahomes and, and Kelsey and them boys, man. I rock with them boys. I love Pacheco. I rock with them boys, man. So, uh, yeah. I, I, Chris Jones, one of my favorite defensive linemen in the Chris league. You feel me? So, I, I'm not mad at it, but I, I want to see something new. I want to see my boy, my it's boy, who finna win his second MVP. For a real nigga to be in, in the, the Super Bowl. I need it. I need it. I need it's time it. for a real nigga to be in the Super Bowl. I need it, man. But the last game, man, that night game, man, we got the Lions and the 49ers, man. So for me, it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna be real. I'm a I'm a Lakers just lost 116, 127 to the Clippers, man. If y'all was checking that out. Mm-hmm. Uh interested. But uh man, look, I think that this game, don't get me wrong, I think that I think I'm gonna be real. This is just my opinion. I think that people get in the Niners effed up, bro. I think they got them messed up off of that game from last week. And I think the 49ers know that, right? I think that people feel like, okay, well, if Green Bay had y'all on the ropes, then, you know, Detroit probably going to knock y'all out. I think that's going to turn San Francisco up to the max, bro. I think that's going to light a spark because people thinking they sweet now. So I think they're going to try to make an example out of, out, of, out of the Lions, right? But what I will say is if Debo not on that field – I'm not confident in that offense. I'm not confident sure. in Brock Purdy. I'm not. He's the glue. He's the glue. Mm-hmm. So if Debo can't play or if he playing hurt and can't be in as much as they need him, it's gonna look a lot like last week from a quote from QB one standpoint. You're gonna have to try. You're gonna have to try and uh, feed McCaffrey and all of that, right? But we do know that the Lions secondary. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's gonna be interesting, man. But. For me, I'm a fan of the underdog, man. I really don't care who wins this game. Uh, because I just, I, just, I'm really excited to watch it. But to pick a team, man, I'm riding with the Motor City again, man. I'm, I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the Lions for the simple fact that I just want to see something different in the bowl, man. Like I want to see something different in the bowl, but I think it's gonna be tough, bro. Wow. I think the for, I, the 49ers have the potential to stomp a mud hole in them after what happened last week. I'm mm-hmm. telling y'all, remember who told y'all that. Mm-hmm. Well, man, I <laughs> I jump right in. Uh Cordell hit on it. Um if y'all think that the 49ers will enter this next week like they did last week, you got to be crazy. You got to be crazy. Everything, Kyle Shanahan went to the drawing board. Purdy knows what he needs to do different. That defense needs know, knows what they need to do different. And I think without a shot of a doubt that even with a shot shoulder, uh, Debo will be in this game. So, I mean, we don't need to worry about that. I think he's going to play. And – 
I just think that, you know, I, I think it will be, to me personally, I'm going to be real with y'all. I think this will be the best game of the weekend out of the two. That's just me. I mean, y'all may de- think think differently. I just think that, man, the like Detroit, oh, my goodness, they've been playing so scrappy, and they've been doing their thing. And they got that double-headed monster at the running back. Mm-hmm. Golf been doing his thing. I'm a Rob been doing his thing. It's up to the secondary of Detroit to be able to hold up. And but you know, ultimately, if I had to pick a team, I'm going San Fran, man. I'm going San Fran Ravens in the Super Bowl, and I think it's in Vegas. Yeah, sir. So you know, what I'm saying that's my prediction. You know, what I'm saying so. Um, I think you know it's crazy. These teams are kind of identical in a lot of ways. Like when you think about it, both defenses, weakness is a secondary. Um, front seven is the strength on both of them. I think one is just veteran led, mm-hmm. while the other one is just a, a bunch of young gunners right. out there going the ball. You know what I'm saying? Right. Offensively, similarities from a scheme standpoint. Um, I love what Detroit is doing offensively. Mm-hmm. I think. Uh, I think they can figure out a little bit more, but it's probably going to happen in the future with how to use Montgomery and Gibbs a little bit more efficiently and probably having them in the, in the same backfield and getting a little bit more versatile with that. But Debo and Amon Ra is close to similarities as far from a skill set no standpoint. No doubt. Um, you got CMC. Ayuk. Reynolds is a great value version of Ayuk for Detroit. So there's a lot of similarities. And I feel like golf is the veteran version of what Purdy can become. Mm -hmm. With that said, I just feel like Detroit is rolling. Mm. I feel like Detroit is two against one right now. Okay. And I and I feel like at every point in this season, they've come up with an answer. Mm -hmm. Whenever somebody's counted. No doubt. Even when you go back to the Dallas game, that's on the refs. No, for sure. That's on the refs. That's that's Checkpoint match. Yeah, for sure. That game's over with. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dan Campbell and his coaches have come up with an answer for every counter anybody has had. Mm -hmm. And I do feel like Green Bay exposed a lot. Mm -hmm. Exposed a lot. Because we ain't seen that defense outside of Baltimore. We ain't seen that defense just get ramrodded like that. Mm -hmm. And that's from Jordan Love. I do think the X Facts will come down to. How do the quarterbacks play? That's really what definitely golf has been efficient definitely. in the playoffs. Definitely, he's been efficient in the playoffs. Been balling. He can't tweak. Mm-mm. So, and also familiar opponents that he used to. Maybe he was in that conference with with the Rams. Yep. So who better to play against the 49ers than somebody who played in that conference for a long time? No doubt. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna see. And, bro, I know he's not your boy, and you know I'm a Buckeye fan. Rock with Hutchinson, dog. I like Hutchinson, dog. I like Hutchinson, man. I like his energy, Joe. You know what I'm saying? I like a good, scrappy, so energetic So you a Michigan boy. fan? Stop it. I knew it. You want to step outside and fight? I knew it. I mean, You listen, him? You hear how he crowned this step man? He, he, he's supposed to be a Buckeye. I like Listen, I'm also the person who said that Chase was going to be mid. And I'm a Buckeye fan. He's mid. <laughs> I just get hemmed up last week. I saw some. Right. No white tees in the club. Come on. I called a spade a spade. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a homer. Right. I'm going to let you slide with that because you definitely a buck out I'm there. not a homer, dog. He a Michigan fan. Stop it. That boy was Stop definitely talking, like about a blue. Second. talking about gold second. Oh, I'm talking about Because blue. I don't cape. Because I, I don't that. cape. Hey, but nah, man, that, that's what's up, man. We hey, we in for a good weekend, man. We in no for doubt. a good weekend, man. But y'all know we gave them predictions, man. So y'all know that means we wrapping up this show, man. Y'all boys got any closing remarks? Man, like always, like, comment, subscribe, man. You know, we're going to do better on our end. Yeah, I think we, you know what I'm saying, we didn't gravitate to that. We're going to do our thing, man. We're going to continue to keep y'all, giving y'all good content. You know what I'm saying? Please, 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 we can't express it enough. If you guys got Anything that y'all want us to talk about. Everybody here has their own individual Instagram. That's on that's always on our, you know what I'm saying, on our page. As well as, you know what I'm saying, our highly underrated sports page on IG. So 
Hit us up, man. Let us know, man. We very, we personable, man. We ain't, we, hey, we ain't nothing but your, you know, your everyday guys, man. That just love talking sports, man. And uh, um, we interested in seeing what y'all got. If y'all got any topics, man, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely, you know, put them out here for y'all, man. man we love y'all. Y'all the one who make us, man. So, hey, keep like, comment, subscribing. And, man, we're going to continue to keep applying the pressure for these other podcasts, man. I think we the best out here. You know what I'm saying? Best out here, man. We're going to give y'all that raw and uncut. And we just your average, normal, you know, fellas sipping a little drink, talking a little sports, man. You know what I'm saying? We love y'all. Man, just remember, man, cream always rise to the top. You know what I'm saying? We just going to keep rising. That's all it is. Like, comment, subscribe, show. Y'all know, like, comment, subscribe, share like the fella said, man. Ain't nothing different, man. Another week. Hey, we just happy to bring this to y'all, man. So, hey, y'all got stuff y'all want to talk about, let us know. If y'all want to reach out to us and get on this joint, let us know. We can work something out, man. So, hey, we just appreciate y'all for taking the time, man. Y'all already know. You tuning into another high underrated sports podcast. And please don't let it be the last. We out.